Okay, I just want to show everybody uh, how I finally, after like a year, got this thing to, this Xbox 360 to update. Basically, I took out the hard drive, and I've tried everything with this. Uh, took out all the thumb drives, then uh, you go to uh, reset this thing to factory like it was new. I think you do that in uh, system, and it's all the way down at the bottom. Uh, you just click uh, uh, for first setup, I think it says, and uh, you do that. Then it takes you back. Then it says uh, sign into Xbox Live like for the first time, and uh, and you try it, and it'll still give you that same error that it always gives you. Um, at least it did for me. And then I went back. Finally, um, I cleared everything. I even cleared. Then you go to uh, your your the system again and go to uh, go to system and then go to uh, drives um, you know storage go to storage and then uh, you press Y Y is the magic button press Y and then um, after you press Y then I'll ask you if you want to clear the cache the system cache or uh, clear the drive delete it and I just went ahead and delete it because I've already cleared the system cache and that didn't help. But uh, anyway, yeah, and this is, I'm just using a range extender. Um, so, for my wireless, for my wire, for my Wi-Fi. And uh, anyway, finally, it didn't have anything. See, I had the, the, um, the port forward um, all configured I thought that that might help and that didn't help still the same error so anyway finally the very last thing I did after doing all that is uh, <clears throat> I uh, reset the network back to automatic instead of manual and finally with no drives in it everything set back to default from the factory everything basically cleared out of it it finally um, I went back into network network setup and um, and uh, tried to connect to Xbox Live it asked me if I want to do the update and I said yes and it finally started after this has been going on for like six months or a year or something I kind of <laughs>